there have been a lot of questions in the chat messages comments and people asking me on what sensitivity i play which we will go over here in a minute but i want to talk about in general why i think higher sensitivity is going to be better for you in general not only right now but actually especially for the future since crossplay is coming and yes i know that you don't have to play against pc players if you don't want to you only have to do that if let's say your friend is from pc and you're in the same fire team then you're going to be queued against pc and console players however if you just stay with your console friends you will not be queued against pc players if you so choose that's how it's supposed to be however if you do have that PC friend and if you're going to go against mouse and keyboard, there's a few things that you want to probably kind of change up for the time that crossplay hits and that one of them is definitely upping your sensitivity. And I'm going to explain why I did that and why I think you should too. So first of all, the first thing I want to mention is that if you do play on, let's say, three sensitivity or for sensitivity right and that's where you feel comfortable that's fine however if you do want to get better with a few things i truly believe that as mentioned especially since crossplay is coming up in that sensitivity will benefit you a lot and i'm going to show you a few reasons why first of all what i did and how i did it was just a month and a half two months maybe three months ago i don't exactly remember the remember the date but i was running around five sensitivity but then i was like you know i'm gonna start putting it up little by little so what i did and what you should do too is if you're playing for sensitivity move it up to five and start playing on five even if it's pve just hop in do that let your brain get used to it right let your eyes get used to it get that muscle memory going once you feel very comfortable on five move it up to six same thing on six then you move it up to seven eight nine and hopefully you get to ten obviously do not forget to rock some traction on your boots that really helps everything especially the movement and turning around however here is the biggest benefit you're gonna get from higher sensitivity currently i've made my way all the way up to nine i feel very comfortable with nine and there's a few reasons i'm in love with higher sensitivity especially obviously on controller and the reason is, let's say you're in a 1v1, 1v2 situation. Let's start with a 1v2. There's one person over there. Let's say you take him out real quick, right? And then there's another one that peaks, but you got to get away. You're hurt and so on. And you're in a bad spot. Let's say we're over here. You get the kill. The thing is, with lower sensitivity, you're going to be turning around like this, right? Like it's going to be so slow. And the... the chances of you getting out of some crazy situations are really low and it will get you killed over and over again that's just facts trust me I'm, I'm speaking from experience too now when you have higher sensitivity you have more chances of survivability and getting away because you can simply just do a quick turn and get away now i'm playing on nine cents obviously i can go to 10 it's going to be even better but the difference is night and day from, let's say, 4 or 5 to 9 and 10. It's actually crazy. And it will get you out of some amazing and very, very crazy intense situations where you're like, oh, I need to move fast. And if you do need to move fast, that's exactly when that high sensitivity comes into play. Okay, let me show you guys a quick example. Right here, I'm in a 1v3 situation. I killed this guy and now I'm trying to get away. I know this guy's right behind me. So I jump, I do a quick turn. And I'm able to kill this guy too. Now, if I had lower sensitivity, none of this would be possible, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at it again. I kill this guy. He managed to get some shots on me. I know this guy's to the right. I do a jump, quick turnaround, and I'm in position to take a shot. Once again, thanks to high sensitivity, right? And I feel like with lower sensitivity, you just don't get so many opportunities to react fast to a lot of these crazy situations by the way i'm going to be uploading the full version of this game of this elimination game here in a few days so stay tuned oh and before we continue with the video don't forget to tune in to those streams here on youtube every tuesday thursday and saturday around reset time for destiny 2 we're also going to be streaming battlefield 2042 in the future so i truly hope to see you guys on streams now another thing obviously is the flick shots which you will see that the best players 
are really good at flick shots guys you're expecting a guy here but suddenly another one pops out right there and boom you do a fast movement of your scope and get that person out of there or in other case scenario you're aiming here the guy jumps out you kind of lose him for a second and then you want to do a quick shot and get him out right both of these scenarios as mentioned are very very possible when you have high sensitivity however if you don't have higher sensitivity and it's like four or three or whatever you're running it's gonna be way harder to do that okay so once again if there's one person over here and you got another one that it's about to peek here and you're not expecting him because you're adsing with the sniper or whatever you're doing from far away or a bow whatever it is and then you see him on the bottom you want to do this as fast as possible and this is where the higher sensitivity comes into play you guys have seen tons of the flick shots that I get when I'm playing, let's say trials or elimination or any mode that I'm in. I've won some crazy 1v3s. I've got out of some crazy situations too, thanks to the speed of high sensitivity. When I'm in like 1v3s, 1v2s, it doesn't matter. It definitely ups your game by a lot. And you can see where the skill gap is from like, let's say a regular player to a above average or a very good player. Cause that's where the skill gap is movement and just aiming quickly and landing those flick shots now you will see a lot of people say but pip you know on mouse and keyboard people play on low sensitivity and yes that is true when i used to play on mouse and keyboard other games such as counter strike or whatever i used to run for example lower sensitivity but the thing with mouse and keyboard is you have such a big area of movement right so you might have low sensitivity but your hand movement can be very big and then that pretty much makes up for it and at the same time if you're running lower sense on on a mouse that gives you the ability to land more precise shots and you still have that bigger hand movement you can perform at any time and do that flick shot if needed on controller you obviously don't have that which makes higher sensitivity very valuable so make sure to slightly adjust to that and slightly up your sensitivity as soon as you can i feel like with crossplay on the way guys that you will see the difference if you do go against pc players you will see how quick they jump and turn around and land those crazy flick shot snipes or shotgun shotgun shots i was about to say shotgun snipes in this case in the meta yes it's pretty much the same shotguns do snipe especially chaperone which i love by the way but uh, anyway you guys will see the difference and it's real you're gonna want to have that higher sensitivity as mentioned get used to five move on to six when you're super comfortable with six move on to seven when you get super comfortable with seven move up to eight and just make your way to the top it will make a difference and it will take your game to the next level coolio yeah, what's yeah, up baby verbosa yeah, thank you for the sub very much appreciated you animal you beast thank you love the energy you're over here you get a flick shot in wherever he is obviously right now we don't have anyone but you guys get the point the flick shots are way easier with higher sensitivity and it will make your life so so much easier in terms of getting those insane shots in and it just feels good too it feels really really cool to land those and that's why i'm falling in love with high, higher sensitivity every day man and the goal is 10 and and i'm pretty close like i feel very comfortable at nine already to be honest it kind of feels a bit slower and slower every day now and i feel like 10 is gonna be the perfect spot at some point i'll probably be like oh shit i i wish there was 11 or 12 but anyway the point is you gotta up your sense and it will change the game for you in in a big way